and to other stories with just a little over one week to the end of his tenure Ekiti State Governor Kayode Fayemi has alongside his successor, Governor-elect Biodun Oyebanji, launched the Ekiti State Development Plan, a policy document which is set to set the pace for Ekiti State's drive to achieve the SDGs and eradicate poverty, was launched at a third interactive session between the state's Executive Council and development partners. Moyo Thomas reports. <laughs> The Ekiti State Governor, in his last official meeting with development partners and international donor, launched the state's 30-year development plan. I saw, yes. The document, which contained a detailed action agenda, is a roadmap for development in the state. Governor Fayemi acknowledged the significant role development partners have played in the strides the state have so far recorded. The reason for the state development plan uh, to capture the current needs, potential strengths, clear opportunities, and aspirational yearnings of our citizens, especially the younger generation. A six-point agenda focused on effective governance, human capital development, job creation and youth development, infrastructure and industrialization, agri and rural development, and arts, culture, and tourism. With all the stated plans, no doubt, the document will help enhance fast economic growth if implemented adequately. This is the area the governor is seeking further support from the international agencies. In turn, they all pledge their support to implement in the document. Mr. Governor has also deemed fit. The special advisor to the governor assures that structures are already in place to ensure continuity. The next stage is to exploit together with you areas of collaboration and partnership for the implementation, which I am assured will usher in new incentives and mutually beneficial opportunities for the achievement of the sustainable development goals in the states. And so we are happy to support the states, recognizing that the SDGs cannot be achieved with standalone policies and programs. They must be carefully integrated and mainstream into our national and subnational policies. Some of the development partners present at this third interactive session were the World Bank, AFDB, the United Nations, UNODC, UNDP, UNICEF, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Ford Foundation, USAID, FCDO, that is the UK government, EU, and some other embassies in Nigeria. Muya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.